Paris Hilton is a mom. The Simple Life alum revealed Tuesday that she and husband Carter Reem secretly welcomed their first child together, a son, via surrogate. Posting a sweet photo on Instagram in which she held her newborn's hand, she wrote, You are already loved beyond words. Hilton, 41, also confirmed the news to People, saying, It's always been my dream to be a mother, and I'm so happy that Carter and I found each other. We are so excited to start our family together, and our hearts are exploding with love for our baby boy. The heiress, however, did not reveal when they welcomed their bundle of joy or what his name is. The reality star married Riam, also 41, in November 2021 and has been vocal about their plans to use IVF to start a family. We've been talking about kids since the beginning, since the first couple, like, months of dating, the DJ said on the Bella's podcast in April 2022. The reality star married Riam, also 41, in November 2021 and has been vocal about their plans to use IVF to start a family. We've been talking about kids since the beginning, since the first couple, like, months of dating, the DJ said on the Bella's podcast in April 2022. The Paris and Love star shot down Kathy's claims for the third time the following month, explaining to E! that she and Riam were getting the eggs all ready. Nikki Hilton was the first of Paris siblings to become a parent. She shares Lily Grace, 6, Teddy, 5, and a 6-month-old son with her husband, James Rothschild. Their brother Baron Hilton, too, meanwhile, shares Malou, too, and Caspian, for months, with his wife, Tessa Grafen von Walderdorf. As for Riam, the venture capitalist fathered a daughter named Evie with Secrets of Aspen star Laura Bellizzi in 2011. When Page Six broke the news in November 2021, Riam's rep told us that he supports the preteen despite not having a traditional father-daughter relationship with her. Harvard is one of the most important study centers worldwide. Its extensive selection process means that many do not meet the requirements set by the directors and only a few manage to get a place to study at this university. The last great integration in this honorable center has been that of Kim Kardashian. The model has been linked to fame from a very early age, but for some years now, Kardashian has wanted to take advantage of her impact on society to help other people. A clear example is her recent studies in law, where the new lawyer has managed to get innocent people out of jail. But now Kim Kardashian has returned to college for a completely different reason. The star of the reality Keeping Up With The Kardashian has taken a plane to the state of Massachusetts to land at Harvard University, but this does not mean that Kim is going to be a new student, but the model wanted to give a talk to students studying business. According to the American media The New York Post, Kardashian wanted to tell how she launched her brand schemes, which is currently valued at about $3.2 billion. The talk lasted two hours and in it the entrepreneur explained to the students how she founded her business, the trajectory of the same until today and the benefits it has brought her. Kim Kardashian's visit seems to have not sat very well with some, as social networks have been filled with memes and negative comments towards the model, where they criticize her fame and coming from a family with money. Prince Harry has revealed he had sex with Meghan Markle at Soho House after sneaking into the flashy venue in a freight lift. In his controversial memoir, the Duke of Sussex recalled waiting breathlessly outside Meghan's hotel room until she opened the door and pulled me inside. Harry told how the couple reunited in the London Hotel after spending weeks apart in the summer of 2016. The royal said he and Meghan, who were nearly two months into their relationship at the time, spent the steamy night at Soho House on the anniversary of the death of his mother, Princess Diana. Harry explained how Meghan had told him to meet her at the hotel where she was staying and instructed him to take a secret way to the hotel and use a freight lift. He then met a friend of hers named Vanessa, who led him up to her hotel door. Harry recalled how Meghan then opened the door and reached out for him. Her arms were reaching for me, he wrote in his book, Spare. She pulled me inside and thanked her friend in one fluid motion, then slammed the door quickly before anyone saw. I want to say we hung a do not disturb sign on the door. But I don't think there was time. He also told how he hid under the covers of their bed when room service was delivered the next morning. Meg whispered to go into the bathroom, but I preferred my hiding place, he wrote. 
the breakfast was delivered by the hotel assistant manager, who stayed for a chat with Megan. He didn't notice the prince-shaped lump under the duvet, Harry said. He talked and talked, and caught her up on the latest, while I, in my duvet cave, started to run out of air. The pair had just been on their romantic getaway to Botswana, but had spent time apart as Harry had been on a long holiday with pals. Meghan had flown into London to meet him and Harry said she texted him while he was laying flowers on his mom's grave at Althorpe with William. Harry drove back to London with William and met up with Meghan later that day. In his memoir, Harry also revealed he had a bespoke penis cushion made for a trip to Antarctica to protect him from frostbite. He said he was presented with the custom-made device by a close mate ahead of a 335km charity hike for injured veterans in 2013. Harry said his pal sent it to him after he suffered frostnip on his penis during a similar charity event in the Arctic in 2011. His memoir, published on Tuesday, has shocked the world with the Duke launching savage attacks on the royal family. Spare has sparked fury over his claims that William physically attacked him, while his admission he killed 25 Taliban members during the Afghanistan war generated protests in Helmand province over the weekend. Harry is also said to have crossed Charles's red line after attacking the monarch's wife while promoting the book. Many little girls grow up dreaming of becoming princesses, but few ever see those dreams become reality. If you're a little girl in America, the Cinderella fantasy is even more of a long shot, as America has no monarchy, and the Kardashians are full. However, young women still clung to the hope of someday experiencing a chance meeting with one of Britain's two most eligible royal bachelors, William and Harry. So when Prince William married Kate Middleton in 2011, every woman in America took solace in the fact that Harry was still on the market. Of course, those princess dreams were dashed for good on November 27, 